In the last video, we showed you how to install the side motor. Now we will explain how to install the steel cable. We start by installing the cable on the side without the motor. To do this, select the long steel cable marked with a black cable tie. Lower the end of the cable with the connection for the bottom bracket until it hangs approximately 150 mm above the ground. This is the position where the connection will be located on a closed door. Secure the steel cable in the rail with clamps to prevent it from slipping. Pass the other end of the cable over the cable pulley, under the cable tensioner and then bring the steel cable over to the other side of the door. Wrap the cable around the cable drum two and a half times on the wall side. Pay attention to the running direction of the cable drum so that the cables can wind and unwind properly. Shorten the cable with the pliers and attach the clamp to it. Place the clamp in the designated place in the cable drum and fasten the end of the cable. Now you need the other shorter cable which is marked with the blue cable tie. Secure the end of the cable with the bottom bracket connector as you have previously done with the other steel cable. Take the other end and guide it upwards, through the hole in the folding plate and over the cable disc. Next, the cable must be routed from the back to the front, around the lower cable disc. Run the cable on the non-wall side of the cable drum along the back of the drum and lay it over the drum from back to front. Wrap it around the cable drum two and a half times. Shorten the cable with the pliers and attach the clamp to it. Place the clamp at the designated position in the cable drum and fasten the end of the cable. Remove the screw from the cable tensioner. Finally, place the cable in the pulley of the slack cable protection and tighten the cable with the cable tensioner. In the next video, you will see how to mount the bottom brackets and the bottom panel.